Sounds good, right? Hey guys, what's going on? So I wasn't gonna film anything today. I had kind of a hectic night dealing with harassment by my landlord who, it's so weird, man. I'm like the ideal tenant, total clean freak, great manners and I, but so I was driving I thought I wasn't gonna shoot any of this I'm just running some errands and then I pulled up and we've got the Lamborghini SUV which someone is getting out of I have a lot of expenses as a, a you know label owner and producing my own music releasing that and so I, these are products I'm saving up for and I'm gonna be building this car with my own money and so there's another brand um, God, it starts with a C uh, that seems like it has a really rad sound to it for, as far as the cold air intake and it's that's on sale in a couple of spots man I want to do a carbon carbon fiber plenum for this let's do that man it sounds good right yeah you can hear that man it sounds good right <laughs> um, I'm just really into aesthetics there's a lot of pollen right now in San Diego so my car is getting covered with pollen even though the exterior is white right now But my point is I'm very much an aesthetics person and I want to do this build. I want the engine to look incredible um, <clears throat> and just dialed into my aesthetics, you know, Ferrari lover approved aesthetics. This is an incredible view here. I'm not going to be able to film this as I'm driving unless there's peop there's no one behind me. There's my view there. Running some errands. SoCal Noir errands. You can hear that dine and tuner. Make it, it's got the engine sounds good, man. It sounds good. But I, yeah, so I wasn't not gonna get into the specifics, but I. I guess I have the one manager woman in my, it's one of the women who works for the landlord is just really a Karen. She's a boring Karen and she's been giving me a really hard time and a very stressful night. I got served with a th an, an unlawful three day eviction notice, which is a total joke because I'm the ideal tenant. I mean. I went to Cotillion, I studied manners in France, I'm a total clean freak, and she's just trying to, the funny thing is she had pulled some bullshit like insulting me, I guess she looked me up, I don't know how she would know about my gender identity, when I was first starting to come out in terms of my gender identity on Ferrari Lover social media, and she wrote me this email about I should understand of all people should know what it means and appreciate the ability to make a choice in life and so pathetically insulting uh, I, I it's not a choice to be who I am that's like you know if you're straight did you choose to be straight did you choose to be no if your gender assigned at birth totally fits you more power to you uh you know cut your dick off and then get back to me you know what i'm saying like it's just so insulting but i'm here unfiltered as i say i'm super highly educated and so my point is it was a very stressful night because at 5 30 p.m on valentine's day i'm not going to get into the details about my relationship status but uh I, I get this three day unlawful three day notice uh, because I um, selling a had like a high end lamp that I don't have room for anymore. I'm doing the ultra modern uh, lighting and everything like that, and lighting for shooting videos. And 
I had it on my patio and they're kind of sighting in that I have all this unsightly stuff on my patio. Anyway, I'm not gonna waste any more breath talking about that, but I decided that I did wanna talk about it a little bit because um, it actually does cause uh, quite a deal of stress. And But the irony is last time she sent that insulting message, it was actually like, some of those TikToks, that's the one good thing about, I guess, being assigned female at birth. It's like, it's not like I'm going to be bald and have a hairy back. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's benefits. <laughs> but uh, there's some TikToks where, like, oh, I can relate to those. And if it's a transgender woman or just in general, like, going into bitch mode, you know, a couple of these TikToks are really good. Like, what? It's like, oh, I've got that Leo in me and I'm a very polite and kind of self-effacing to a fault which I've been changing I got angry man I was like oh hell no I was like and so that's the day I shot the barely black video the the main parts that ended up in the video I had received uh, an insulting unlawful harassing uh, email from this woman who uh, so it's like you know this is for you, Amanda. It's like Thick Whips. I love that channel, Jonathan. I love his energy. I've got a similar sense of humor, and he's got that guy, that troll, who's like, oh my God, you say sheesh, it's so pathetic. And he's like, so he was doing literally his own custom branded calipers on like these just killer brakes set up. I mean, that guy, he's got the cleanest, most, incredible he's got a lot of knowledge and uh actually he did like a side channel about his life which kind of partly inspired me to do this a lot of a lot of factors uh but so he had this troll so he's setting up this incredible you know custom painted powder coated caliper that says thick whips on the freaking caliper I and mean, how much more gangster can you get and he's like this is for you buddy you know, like, that's how I feel. So now when I shoot the Revenge 101 video, it's like, this is for you, Amanda. You know what I'm saying? It's like all she ends up doing, despite causing really serious emotional distress, the irony is all it does is make my content better and light a fire under me to, uh, you know, Revenge 101 is about people like that who make their life about harassing and causing severe emotional distress and trying to get in the way of others who may not be just like them or i mean the reality is <laughs> uh i'm not gonna get into it but um i'm sure there's some jealousy involved you know and uh my understanding of French culture, fashion, couture, um, just being a professional human being and incredibly respectful and down to earth and my knowledge of music production and all of this, like uh, instead of taking time to educate herself and become interesting and well-rounded herself, she's uh, there, you know, there are people who have spent their life trying to, uh, <coughs> you know, rain on my parade in a very serious dangerous way and uh so <clears throat> there's a little backstory on the barely black video i was literally setting up the shoot and then i got that email so we're here gonna run in do a quick errand and another thing i want to say i'm going <laughs> i'm going to the dark side uh we got the Google Pixel Pro, Pixel 7 Pro, and I had an issue with it on my back line, on my business line, and as someone who, you know, I studied photography, I uh, spent a summer there at Columbia, New York City, studying photography, and that camera is just, I'm an Apple person, my main phone is an Apple person, I'm gonna upgrade once I pay off my uh, 12 Pro, but, that camera is just blows Apple out of the water. All the images that you take on Apple are 
so saturated with people are like, oh, it's overly warm. It's like, no, it, it literally makes human beings, no matter what your, you know, skin tone is or race or nationality, which this channel welcomes people of all backgrounds. Uh, it, it makes everything look orangey and yellow. And uh, so I spend a good deal of time having to do edits. And I think that's, I talk about in another video, I don't always want to grab a mirrorless setup and sometimes I just want to get out. I'm spontaneous and I want to do some filming. So that's going to be my camera. We got the, uh, we got the carbon case already and I'm going to be adding some carbon accessories. I'd like to do a full dry carbon official BMW accessories in here, but that's, we don't have the budget for that right now. And I personally really like the wood. I think the wood looks uh, pretty classy. And like I said, I'm doing this build a little differently to use correct grammar, uh, but I do want some carbon. And I did get the LCI, again, shout out to Shamil Swift. He did a video about the LCI upgrade on the uh, CD kind of center console entertainment area and I haven't found someone to install that yet. I don't know if I'm going to go with the carbon or uh, that gloss black LCI trim. But yeah. Let's head inside. I said in one of my other fashion vlog videos about Saint Laurent, Anthony Vaccarello showing these buttoned up dress shirts with the chain on the exterior it looks super rad um so also this car really needs a headlight replacement and i haven't found anyone who's willing to deal with the electrical and the coating and everything i do have beamer code and beamer link it's just that working on the record i don't have time to right now to become an expert on that which is also another reason why uh, grateful to the dudes over at Pro Tuning Freaks who gave me a refund on the Boot Mode 3 because I'm a type of person, it's like before I go to a country uh, or if I'm in the country, I'd like to learn the language. It just takes a lot of time and study. So yeah, just a lot of people without proper manners. I mean, uh, so I went to manners school. If you don't know what that is, Cotillion is manners school. And it was definitely very difficult in the sense that, you know, I was born androgynous guy. And, you know, in the 80s, you're that I had to become someone else once I reached puberty. And it was definitely a very painful situation to have to uh, take this light here shapeshift like that and you know imagine being a guy in a, you know born a woman but in a guy and having to wear a dress and curtsy it's just like but that said I am grateful to my family uh, uh, on my mother's side of the family she grew up uh, with you know she learned French my mother taught me so much about French culture and I am grateful to her for sending me to Manor's school. Uh, the way I was raised and things have changed, you don't, you have proper, um, and also the environments that I've been in, I've just encountered so many people who really, wait, let's check out, the, they, they have like barnyard, they're just not sophisticated, really, um, they just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. So that there's going to be a little vlog about that just now. But so uh, let's get into manual mode. We're in sport mode with the Dyna tuner. And let's check this out. Yeah, we're, uh, this is a street where it's, got to be careful but there you got a little so sound clip of the dining sport tuner uh, so yeah for a daily driver that's best 